Who could have thought that Obama once idolized Trump? True story. I may not be Donald Trump now, but just you wait. If I don't make it, my children will. Now, that was a 29-year-old Obama back in Harvard. Fast forward 26 years, and he's taking his first baby steps to get there. But the irony here is that although Obama wanted to be like Trump, it looks like Trump is well on his way, turning into Obama. Let's take a look at the morphing process. Before becoming president, Trump said the U.S. needs to stop interfering in other countries' affairs. We cannot be the policemen of the world. We will stop racing to topple foreign... Me and, and you understand this. Foreign regimes that we know nothing about, that we shouldn't be involved with. Just like Obama. But once he got into office, he started, well, interfering. Just like Obama. Before his presidency, Trump criticized the White House for not calling things as they really are, such as radical Islamic terrorists. You have a president that won't even issue a term. He won't talk about when you say radical Islamist terrorist, he won't even he won't even say it. He won't even use the term. And nobody really understands why. Then, on his first trip to Saudi Arabia, he addressed the population with a speech that clearly reminds you of Obama's 2009 Cairo speech, praising how wonderful Muslims are and how important it is for the Muslim world and America to turn a new page. The transformation continues. And finally, Trump kept calling China the currency manipulator. They're money manipulators, they're currency manipulators, they cut the value of their currencies at points where, for some reason, we never, ever talk retribution. But things changed over chocolate cake. Let the irony sink in. Obama, when he campaigned, said the same thing. But once elected, he wouldn't put China in the currency manipulator gang. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Obama's wishes came to life a bit backwards. Meet. Trumbama.